Perch Lake State Forest Campground is located in Michigan's Upper Peninsula between Pine Stump Junction and Deer Park. If you are hoping to stay at Muscalange Lake State Park but it is full, this would be an excellent choice to go back to as an overflow option. The campground does cost $20 per night and you have an option to choose between 32 different campsites located along one main loop and then the drive between the campground and the boat launch. On the pay station, there is a quick topographic map of Perch Lake itself, which is a nice little lake if you're coming up here and hoping to put in a kayak or canoe, or just do some quick fishing with your boat while visiting. We're going to walk through the campground now and take a look along the main loop at some of these campsites. Most of the campsites are nice large campsites that back up to a view of the water. Some of the campsites are a little bit smaller and rougher and probably more suitable for a small tent or a pop-up camper that can be leveled on the rough ground. If you're checking out a campsite and hoping for something a little more remote, campsites number 12 and 14 are walk-in sites and only suitable to carry your tent into. In two locations in the campground, there are stairways that lead down to the lake where there is a bit of a sandy beach for people to swim or a spot to slide your kayak or canoe down into the water if you're trying to avoid the boat launch on the other side of the lake. You can see here this little swimming area is not incredibly sandy very far out but it would work for your young kids that are hoping to take a quick dip and cool down during the summer months. On the other side of the lake over there, you can see the boat launch with a cement launch pad meant for backing down motorboats. As we continue through the campground, you can see that it sits mostly in a stand of red pine. Because of this large growth pine, some of the sites lack the privacy that many people would prefer when staying at a state forest campground. As we head back up away from the lake, some of the campsites get a little more private with some smaller growth pine in between the sites, along with some ferns that are growing up in between the parking areas. Site number 20 here is a really deep site. You could line several vehicles in the parking area for this campsite and still not even be all the way back to the end of the site. This is one of the sites around away from the lake that is way more private as you're deep tucked into the woods here. And then site number 15, if you look around, doesn't have another site nearby creating a more private remote setting. Sites number 26 through 32 are back up by the entrance to the campground. And this is an area that gets a little more heavily traveled as residents are coming and going from the boat launch. So be prepared for a little bit more traffic as you are in this area of the campground. Overall, this was a nice quiet campground in a great location in Michigan's Upper Peninsula.